Hello guys, today I'll be telling you guys about the basics of Adobe Premiere CS6. So, basically when you first open up the program, you'll be prompted with this window. And you want to hit new project. Um, this is where it'll ask you like project settings. For this purpose, I'll just put test. And hit OK. And then it'll ask you about the sequence. The sequence basically is um, the timeline of the document you're about to open. Um, just leave it at the standard because that's pretty much what you need and you're not going into anything extravagant so for purposes again I'll just put test and leave it at the standard defaults so after you go through all that this is the basic layout for Adobe Premiere um, if you want to import a clip you just go up to file import and then it'll ask you it'll open up a window and find your video and for example, this is Haley Taylor's senior video, and you just drag it on the timeline. Um, from here, you can edit the video further. So if there's a specific part you want to cut out of the video, you can zoom into the timeline. In uh, this area down here, you can always just drag it, or you can make it longer or smaller, whatever you need. Um, you can also alter the opacity. So for opacity, Basically, that is if you put a video over a video. I'll show you guys an example. So, say you have two videos, and you see how you can still see the pink of Haley's video over this other video. You can actually change the opacity of that so that you see just that video or maybe just a little bit of that video. Um, you can go further into that and make a cool effect out of it, but I'm just showing you guys the basics of how that works. Um, a big thing that people need to lo know how to do is actually export the video. Alrighty, so you want to go to File, Export, Media, and from here you want to make sure your uh, format is at H.264 if it's not, please change it to that. Um, under preset, this is a very big part. Um, make sure your preset is down to NTC, NTSC space DV. So once you do that, um, it will see that your video turned into an MP4. That's exactly what you want. So for purposes, it's still left at test point uh, MP4. And then you just hit save. And that's also where you decide where you want the video to go. Um, for mine, I, uh, I put it in the yearbook folder under done. And so once that's done, um, make sure this little knob thing is all the way at the beginning. <laughs> and hit export. You know, And once that's done, then you know your video is complete and ready for submission. But since I'm still not done, we'll just hit cancel for now. Um... Um, another important tip is some people, when they put their videos in, um, their video is either too big for the window, or there's like a little black uh, bars on it. So in order to fix that, you would right click it, and go to scale to frame size. That was a bad example. And that concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions, I'll leave my email in the description. And have a good day.